miracles still happened. There was a magic spell which opened a gateway to the enchanted land of Simsala, the place where all the fairy tale characters really lived. Abracadabra, Simsala Grim. <laughs> Ready for a new adventure? Let's go! Okay, Crocky. It's not you he's after. Look! What is this? Some kind of waxworks museum? Maybe they're all dead. <laughs> he's not dead. He's breathing. <laughs> you know something? I think they're all under a spell. Come on, Crocky. You've had your nose stuck in that magic book for too long. It's obvious they're all asleep. Sleeping on the job, huh? Wait till the boss hears about this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Yo-Yo, stop fooling around. There's something seriously wrong here. <laughs> wow! Look at this, Crocky. Oh, they must have been put under a spell at exactly the same moment. You know how I hate to disagree with you, but these people are definitely asleep. Hmm. Whatever happened to good manners? Hey, Crocky, how come it's so dark out here? There was more light in the castle. Oh, there's your answer. These things are sharp. Oh, it's like the whole place has become a prison. Well, I don't know what's put them all to sleep, but I'd say it's time to wake them up. But they're not asleep. Oh, never mind. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Come on, Mr. Poet, let's see some action here. Maybe it's a rare virus inflicting acute paralysis of the inner ear spreading through the cranium causing a failure of the frontal lobe of the brain. Maybe it's just weird. Will someone please tell me what is going on here? Going on here. 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 Sleeping Beauty? Who's Sleeping Beauty? And where do we find her? Duh! Uh -huh. <laughs> She's so beautiful! Isn't she beautiful, Crocky? Oh, a Sleeping Beauty, if ever I saw. Look at this! She's pricked herself! Yes, and I think I know how. Lady, 
Please wake up. It'll take more than that to wake her, Yo-Yo. We need to find this fairy Bianca. Okay, so where is this Bianca then? She lives deep in the forest. Come on, Cracky. What are we waiting for? Aren't you forgetting something, Yo-Yo? We flew in here, remember? How do we get out? Uh... What are you up to? You'll see. Just follow me. You got some gunpowder in your bag? <laughs> oh, Yo-Yo, I've got a very bad feeling about this. It'll be fine. <laughs> Quick! Never again! The next time you say to me... Listen, you hear that? Someone singing, so what? You think that's gonna calm my nerves after what I've been through, huh? Come on, let's get a bit closer so we can listen. <sighs> Sleeping Beauty is her name, the daughter of the king. She's the lady of my heart, for her I rhyme and sing. The legend says that an evil witch has made her sleep eternally. Is this just a sweet fantasy? No, she's huh? real. Hmm? Huh? We just saw her. Ah, ah, ah. Whoa! <laughs> it's okay. I got it. Who? Who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. Wait, wait. I'm coming down. I am Yo-Yo, the greatest adventurer on Earth since, well, <laughs> ever. And I am Crocked. Uh, Croc. Uh, a doctor, Krog. <laughs> Scholar, f f philosopher, and virtuoso. Yes, yes, pleased to meet you. But what did you say? You've seen her? You've actually seen Sleeping Beauty? As close as we are to you now. Hey, Krog. Oh, face to face. We just came from the castle beyond those thorns. yoo <laughs> Then it is true, and my journey has been worthwhile. Uh, what journey is that? Forgive me. I am Prince Berthold, and I come from the kingdom which lies beyond those mountains. I've been searching for this legendary Sleeping Beauty for many years, but no one has ever been able to tell me whether she exists. Well, she does, but there's a catch. The whole castle is under a spell. And only the Fairy Bianca knows how to break it. Then onward to Fairy Bianca, as fast as a winged messenger. Wait! We, we don't know where to find her. In the lakes nestled deep within the forest groves is the place where fairies shall bathe their toes. This way, follow me. Hey, Yo-Yo, do you suppose he thinks that's poetry? Yeah, but don't say anything. He's probably just learning. If the fairy is here within these woods, perhaps close by this water curtain, instinct says we'll see her Wait! soon. We, we don't know where to find her. <coughs> um. <coughs> huh? You think that's the fairy Bianca? She looks more like a black widow to me. Pepito, my natty one, come. Fly me away as fast as you can to my castle keep. I want to see that all within are safe and sound asleep. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> what was that? Just a scrawny old owl. There's no sign of Bianca here. Let's go. No! Wait! Please! 
That's me. I'm the anchor, or rather, I was before Gorgona changed me into this. Would one of you kindly let me out of here? The key's on the wall over there. <laughs> Tell us, Bianca, what happened at the castle all those years ago? Oh, well, well, it all goes back to a day shortly after Sleeping Beauty was born. Oh, 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 oh. I was to be the guardian fairy of the newborn baby girl. And everyone of importance had been invited to the christening. Everyone, that is except for the evil fairy, Gargona. So, the festivities take place without me, do they? No invitation, no welcome. For the fairy who possesses the greatest magical powers in the land. Well, let's see how we can right this foolish wrong, shall we? Oh. 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 I curse you, Sleeping Beauty, and hereby proclaim that on the exact day of your 17th birthday, you shall prick yourself to death on a spindle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So what did you do? Only what I could. It wasn't possible for me to lift the curse completely, but I did manage to lessen its power. Oh, it is in my power to fight this curse. And so I pronounce that you will not die, oh, but merely fall oh, yeah. asleep. Oh, oh goodness. Bless you, oh. Bless you Bianca. <sighs> However, when you prick your finger on your 17th birthday, your sleep will have to last for a hundred years. hundred years? I'm sorry, my child. It's the best I can do. And so, the child became a little girl. And then eventually grew into a young woman. But she was a curious creature. And sure enough, on her 17th birthday, Sleeping Beauty went exploring in the castle tower where the evil Gargona was waiting. And the whole castle fell asleep with you. You did what you could, Bianca. But tell me, what can be done to remove oh, this curse? Nothing, I'm afraid. Unless, of course. Unless what? No. It's hopeless. It's not even worth it. Come on, Bianca. We're running out of time here. What? Unless the undying love of a prince sets her free. Boy, if only I were a prince. What are you talking about, Yo-Yo? We have a prince. Right here. You are a prince? At your service, dear lady. Come on, let's get back to the castle. Uh, wait, one moment. Uh, prince Berthold, you do realize that good intentions are not enough. Nothing less than true love will do. Listen, the boy's besotted. I'm telling you, he's completely stuck on her. I cannot speak for Sleeping Beauty, but I know that my own heart is true and already overflowing with love for her. What did I tell you? Head over heels. Can we go now? Uh, yes, but first, could you pass me that cloth? My magic veil. <gasps> My dear old friend. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Shall we go? Oh, looks like we took a wrong turn. No, this is the spot where the prince must prove his courage. If his love is great enough, then the thorns will part before him. You mean he has to jump? Mm -hmm. 
do it. For Sleeping Beauty, I'll do it myself. You are a brave and gallant friend, Yo-Yo. But the task is mine, and mine alone. Hold these for me. <laughs> oh, he, he made it. it! Oh, bravo, Beto! Yeah, well, it was either him or me. And the boy deserves a break. My thorns! Where are they? What has happened to my beautiful masterpiece? You wait! You just wait! God! The prize of my dreams is now quite near. I feel it inside. Sleeping Beauty is here. This is no time for poetry. Let's hurry. I don't like this, yo, -Yo. It's all too Relax, easy. Relax, Crocky. You're always worried. Oh! <laughs> ah. Always worrying, am I? What do we do now? When it gets to the top, jump! So, you thought you could lift the curse again, did you, Bianca? Well, not this time, I'm afraid. Pepito! God! What are you going to do, my pretty prince? Slay me with your loot? Ah! <sighs> Want to play rough, do we, lover boy? Very well. Kill, Pepito. Kill. Vermin so diabolical and dark. Extermination on your mark. <laughs> Don't fret, little hero. You could always sing us to death. <laughs> okay, Crocky. Let's go! It when this happens. Ah! Oh! What's happening? I can't see! Quick! To the tower! Now's our chance! Wait! Hurry! Oh! oh. <laughs> Oh. This is it, Yo-Yo. Oh, we're for it now. At least we tried, Crocky. And it was all in a good cause. Another dragonfly shall come to bite, to pierce, to suck you numb. A dragonfly so grand and vast to drain the life from you at last. <laughs> it takes more than a couple of goblins to foil the great Gorgona. <laughs> Your loveliness is beyond my fairest dreams, Sleeping Beauty, and beyond the words of the greatest poet. Uh, have you done it yet? I thought I'd sing her a song first. She doesn't need a song. You have to kiss her. What, on her forehead, you mean? No. O on the nose, perhaps. Or how about the cheek? Heaven preserve us. What do they teach these princes nowadays? On the lips, you idiot. Bianca, I'm warning you. You're too late, Gorgona. They're told. Get on with it. Oh. No, 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 no! No! Ah! <laughs> oh. 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 
present for you, Crocky. Oh, 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 everyone all right down here? We're fine, but we've got a fairy with a sore head here. Uh, where am I? Feeling a bit out of shape, Gorgona. <gasps> Are we? Never mind. We'll soon fix that. No! Well, that's definitely the right shape for her. <sighs> hey, uh, who did that? Aha! Uh -huh. Something tells me things are going well in the tower. Now, where did he learn to do that, I wonder? Who are you? His name is Berthold, dear lady. And he's a prince. And who are they? Just friends, my dear. You've been asleep for a long time. Oh, it feels like it. Mm. How long exactly? Uh, let's just say many, many years. Many years? That means I must be... So radiant and fair that no man alive could fail to fall at your feet and offer his life for the touch of your lips. And a kiss that would, that would taste so sweet. All right, I had it. I was just about to say that. Your waking is entirely due to the courage of this young prince, my dear. Oh, why, thank you, kind sir. The honor was all mine, fair lady. Tell me, Bianca, do you think my father will like this prince as, as much as... As much as you? <sighs> if he believes in love at first sight, then I'm sure he will. I need more eggs, quick! Where's the flour? Those the pies, flour? idiot! More flour! Oh, I need more flour! Quick! The king has asked for the cake! Hurry yourself! The king! He needs his cake, quick! <laughs> Dearest, where is our daughter? It's time to cut her cake. You know what our little beauty's like. She's probably gone exploring somewhere. Dearest, whatever are you doing up there? It's time to cut your birthday cake. Happy birthday, princess! Happy birthday, princess! Happy birthday, princess! Happy birthday, princess! Happy birthday, princess. Happy birthday, princess. Happy birthday, princess. Thank you. I'm coming right down. Father, I have another guest with me. May I ask him to join us? Of course, my dear. But hurry, everyone is waiting. Our job is done. And all is mended. Let's hit the road. This story's ended. <laughs> Simsa, Simsala, Simsala Grim. <laughs> and they all lived happily ever 